Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming a video in collaboration with Juliana's Perfumes. Now I did see so many people talking about this brand for the past year or so and I really wanted to discover them myself and actually the brand they reached out to me to do a collaboration so I was very happy and the timing seemed like it was perfect and something about this company and I really don't want this video to be so controversial this company is a dupe company I feel like I said company like 50 times so yes Juliana's perfume is a dupe company so they make their recreation of very popular fragrances on the market and something that is cool is that you can actually request some certain fragrances and if it gets enough attraction they will make that specific fragrance and add it to their line now they do also make original creations but the fragrances that I have here I have filtered through most of their fragrances and chose my favorite ones which quite a few of them are dupes of specific fragrances so I'm really excited to getting into this video I don't want it like I said to be controversial whether you believe in dupes or not that is completely up to you and your preference your opinion everyone has the right to feel their own way about dupes personally if I can speak from my own perspective if you do not have the money to spend on a 300 400 plus dollar fragrance a company like Juliana's perfume can be really helpful for you to at least understand the way that the fragrance smells now that's just that's just my opinion you can do it however you want you can think however you want but I do think it is more helpful if you can try the fragrance and you get a full bottle like this of the scent that maybe you're interested in from a luxury brand so with all of that blah 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 nonsense let's get into the video uh, I guess I'm gonna start out with this one it's called a night to remember and this is an interpretation on Killian's love don't be shy now I have already sprayed it, I've been wearing the fragrances all week so I know how they smell, I know how they last. Something that I'm really pleasantly surprised about is that the longevity is actually really good on the fragrances. I'm not saying I wasn't expecting that, but I wasn't really sure what to expect, but the longevity is really good on the fragrances that I have been wearing. So A Night to Remember is a take on Love Don't Be Shy, and I do have to say that it smells almost identical to Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. This is a very sweet, neroli, orange blossom, marshmallow, vanilla. You guys know if you follow me for a long time how Love Don't Be Shy smells. This DNA is not my favorite, I cannot lie to you. I'm not really a fan of this orange blossom, neroli, sweet scent, but they did an almost identical dupe to the Killian fragrance, Love Don't Be Shy. So if you were always interested in that fragrance, this one is definitely a great interpretation on the scent. And it smells almost exactly the same yeah so a night to remember is a take on love don't be shy and i have to say that the dupe is well like almost exact oh, and something else is that they got some new packaging so now this is like hard metal instead of just a paper sticker which is quite nice so next up we have call me by your name which is a dupe of one of my favorite perfumes which is stuck back in australia it's gourmand coquine from guerlain I love that perfume. It's one of my favorites. I believe it's being discontinued. I'm so grateful to have a bottle of that one in Australia because it's such a beautiful and cocooning gourmand. Now, call me by your name. I have to say the openings are very, very similar of the scent. Like the openings are almost the same. Gourmand cooking, if you don't know, and call me by your name. It's a very delicious powdery cacao dark chocolate a little bit boozy sweet but at the same time not sweet it's woody in the dry down it's a very delicious gourmand it's very cocooning slightly powdery it has this very chocolatey essence to it i have to say the dry downs smell different the openings smell quite similar so the dry down, they still have a very strong similarity, but I would say that Gourmand Coquine, there is something a little bit different in the Gourmand Coquine to this one, but it's a great dupe. And honestly, you cannot get your hands on Gourmand Coquine anymore. So if you ever wanted to try it and you never got the chance, you will get the same essence with this fragrance. Call me by your name. You have to remember as well, guys, they sent me a lot of perfumes and I only chose to speak about the ones that I actually like. I, this is something that I stand by whenever I work with a brand. I will not just talk about all the fragrances and say I like all of them if I don't. I only pick the handful that I personally would wear or I like. So the next fragrance here is Simply Gorgeous, which is a take on beige from Chanel. 
It smells very much like beige, which is a really clean, beautiful, sophisticated, feminine floral fragrance. Simply gorgeous. It's very airy, it's very light, it has frangipani and some honey and some freesia. It smells like Chanel beige. And for me, this fragrance, I know a lot of women, a lot of women choose to wear this fragrance as their wedding day scent. Personally, I would not wear this one just because it's not really my characteristic to wear something so simple, but it is really, really beautiful. For me as well, whenever I smell freesia in a fragrance, it reminds me of hand cream. Like when you put hand lotion on, that smell of hand lotion, it always reminds me of freesia. Whenever I smell freesia in a perfume, I have this association with hand cream. It's beautiful, it smells really similar to Chanel Beige. They did this one really well and this one lasts a long time. Next up we have Liquid Gold. Now, this fragrance is spot on. Absolutely spot on to Gentle Fluidity Gold by MFK. These are dupes, well, this is the dupe of MFK. And I have to say, this is almost identical to the fragrance. All of these fragrances, this fragrance, Liquid Gold, MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold, you have Montau Intense Cafe, all of them smell very similar with this rose, vanilla, this floral, this sweetness, this woodiness underneath. It is a really, really nice scent and they really duped this fragrance to perfection. So Liquid Gold, if you were interested in the MFK Gentle Fluidity Gold, you're gonna get almost exactly what you're gonna get in this bottle with this. So if you wanted to test it, it's a good one to test these two fragrances. So this one is called Bad Bitch, <laughs> love that name. And you have My Baby Rouge Malakite, which is the inspiration. Now, this fragrance, you guys know how much I wear and love Rouge Malakite. I know it by heart. Like I know that fragrance, how it starts and how it dries down and I know everything about it. This is a really good interpretation. <laughs> I have to say, because Rouge Malakite is my baby, it's my baby. I can never wear something that smells like Rouge Malakite, not being Rouge Malakite. But they did, they did interpret this fragrance really, really well. You have that ambery, because I have the dry down here. You have that sunscreen, yellow floral, creamy, ambery feeling in the dry down. Let me just spray the top. So top notes definitely smell different. But as soon as it starts to come down, they smell really, really similar. Super, super nice. Bad bitch, they really interpreted the scent well. So next up we have Red Carpet Affair, which is a dupe for Angelique Noir by Guerlain. The dry down smells very, very similar to Angelique Noir. Very similar. The openings, not so much. And one thing that I did notice is I, the, I'm not a big fan of this opening, actually. I'm not the biggest fan of the opening, but the, because it's very, very green, it's very, very green, and it's very bitter. Which is the same for Angelique Noir, but they do smell a little bit different in their openings, but the dry down smell very similar, very, very similar. You have this very strong and bitter galbanum notes, which for me, sometimes in fragrances, galbanum, it really disturbs me, but in Angelique Noir, for some reason, I just, this fragrance can do no wrong for me. And then when it dries down, you get this green, cozy, powdery, very sweet vanilla, but it has this green backbone to it. And I just absolutely love it. I miss it a lot in my collection. I have an old formulation at home. I will cherish that perfume forever and I can't wait to wear it again. So yeah, Red Carpet Affair, their openings are different, but as it dries down, they smell really, really similar. I would say Angelique Noir is just a little bit sweeter than Red Carpet Affair, but all in all, they smell very similar and I really like the scent. It's not my favorite, but I really like it. Okay guys, and lastly, we have a cult favorite. It is Delina Exclusive. This one is called Inner Beauty Exclusive. And it's Delina Exclusive. <laughs> Smells the same as Delina Exclusive really a lot. I have a lot of experience with Delina Exclusive. I know the scent and they duped it to perfection, this one. Like it really smells exactly the same as Delina Exclusive. Very strong, very long lasting rose. You have a lot of vanilla. Actually, you guys know if you watch me, I'm not the biggest fan of the exclusive version of Delina. There is a little note in there that disturbs me and it's the same thing with this fragrance. That's how you know that they really got the, the fragrance spot on because there is still that note in here that I don't like. There is some oud, vanilla, rose, lychee, 
It's very sweet. It's very powerful. It's very pungent. There is something very pungent in here, but they did it so well. So in a beauty exclusive, if you ever wanted to get Delina exclusive, but obviously it's very expensive give this one a try because you're getting pretty much the exact same scent so yes that is my final fragrance i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i could shed some light on some of these fragrances i was very curious like i said to try them since i saw so many people doing videos in collaboration with the brand and i was curious i was curious and i heard good things about it i heard that they have great longevity which they do and that's something that i was really pleasantly surprised with sometimes when you go for a company like juliana's perfumes you're not always sure what to expect by the longevity and the projection and the quality of the oils but that is something that i really like about them is that they do really last on the skin and their fragrances do smell nice quality for sure so if you cannot afford necessarily a fragrance like this as i said earlier i'm not going to tell you not to buy the original because i am a luxury addict i love luxury i love perfume i love spending my money but i completely understand sometimes it's just not feasible and it's just not possible to fork out 300 400 plus dollars so that's why i do think that a company like juliana's perfume is a really great idea if you wanted to scale back, try the perfume, try the product, have a lot of product to wear it, and then get to know the scent, and then you can save up and buy the original fragrance if you want. So that is it. Thank you guys again for watching the video. I have to go. I have a date with my couch right now. That's it. <laughs> See you guys soon. Uh, thank you for watching, and everything will be linked down below. Bye-bye.